Good morning. So today we have a really nice route ahead of us. We got a good start to the morning. Met some really nice people. Had breakfast. And now we're off. And uh, the next few days are gonna be really hot. So Rose found a campsite where we can cool down. And that's where we're going today. It'll be a bit far and also more steep than I would have thought on along the Rhine. But we're off to an early start. We will find a way. We'll find a way. Always do. So there you have it. Well, it's out there. Just maybe too much sun and reflection to see it. And we're bashing along this bike path at this. Well, maybe it's just all patches. There's so many patches on here that it's just one big patch. taking a little break here stretching legs walking around crawling the stone just went up a huge hill over there and we have 47 kilometers to go get some water. There is water there from up the mountain somewhere. It's coming down here for us to have and we of course we are missing water today so what a day to find that. That's amazing. Just standing here in the shade instead and they are just dipping toes. And I think we are eight kilometers from our camping spot. And we have Grandpa on the phone here, actually. Where is he? Can you see him somewhere there? FaceTiming. So it's kind of like he is actually on the trip with us. That's all. <laughs> Today is the hottest day on our trip yet. Kawhi keeps crawling out of the shade and I keep removing the umbrella. The in the sun. 
And today is fixing day. We need to do something with the wheels. OMG, it's hot. It's so hot, I can't believe it. It's actually too hot to be in the sun. So, just want to stay in the shade all the time. Mm, oh, come here, come here. Oh. And Christian, what are you doing? Uh, we're swapping tires. They are worn like crazy. I noticed the other day. So now we got to do something. I don't know if it but one tire is real pointy, and one is not. This one. It is worn very much on the sides, and this one is sort of not worn at all. So we're just swapping them. Tire iron. Yeah. Muslim asks, why do you put them in? Definitely, we need to get the tire off. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am so grateful we bought this big umbrella thingy. Look at the mountains. Yeah, the Alternative to the pool. The pool is up there. It's not far, but there is no shade. Here there is. Yeah, so on this one it's even more obvious. This is the rear on the trailer and this is the front on the bike. So there's absolutely no tread left on the inner side of the tire. The outer still got a bit. Um, and the middle has got quite a lot. So before anyone says we're running on flats, we are not. We are always running on maximum pressure that's four to five psi no four to five bar that's the way it works um, um, and i'm sure the the reason this happens is because the bike is uh, turning on uh, both wheels at the same time on front and you can't really lean at all so there's a lot of uh, pressure going on the tires uh, that's why we also just i'm just thinking we can just swap them and it'll be fine um, because the rears are looking great. Um, also, the rear has only ridden uh, 1500 kilometers. Um, that's a bit less than a thousand miles. And uh, the front has run 4000 kilometers. That's two and a half thousand miles. So um, I guess if we swap them, we can easily get a thousand more. We can probably get 3000, I think. We'll see. So today we have a ton of rain. Well, not a ton. We got some rain today and we weren't supposed to, so we weren't really ready. But this is what it looks like. And in here is where Peter lives, our neighbor. And he found a bike shop where we could get some spokes for one of the front wheels. Again, the wrong type. So maybe we can find it in the store. So um, we borrowed his, what's it called, a jack? I believe it's called a jack. So that's what's way easier to take off the wheel. And now he will take his car to a store that's well somewhat far away from here and then um, talk to those guys. Figure out if they have the ones we need. Maybe they can make them. They were, it was a really big store, he said. But super nice.
Thank you, Peter. Thank you.